welcome to my channel. So as usual, I'm going to start off by cleansing the skin with a micellar water wipe. And then to prime, I'm going to use the Farsali Unicorn Essence Primer Serum. I'm just going to apply that all over the face with a duo fiber brush. And then on the lips, I'm going to use MAC Lip Scrub to make them nice and smooth and exfoliate them. And apply the lip conditioner after that. To fill in the brows, I'm using the MAC Brow Pencil in Spiked. It's a great pencil for dark haired girls. It's really easy to use as well. So after that, I'm going to carve out the brows and prime the eyelids using the My MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NC15. Once I've set the concealer with the translucent powder, this is going to act as a great base for our eye look today. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And the first shade is called Golden Ochre. This is a great kind of light burnt orange colour, great first transition shade. We're going to be using darker colours today and this is a great to blend them all together. Using a large fluffy crease brush. I don't know what this brush is called but I'll leave an alternative down below in the description box. I think this is a cheapy eBay one but it's really amazing. I think it cost me one euro or something. <laughs> just buffing that all over the eyelids and dragging it upwards and outwards. That's just got quite hooded eyes. We don't want to make it a too sharp but we also don't want to make it too rounded so blend upwards. Now using my one second, what kind of brush is this? MAC 286 brush. I'm taking the shade Antique Bronze pretty much all over the lid. Not quite as far up as we took the first transition shade but still quite far up so we can see it. As I said Sarah has got quite hooded eyes similar to mine so we want to be able to see those shadows. And then I'm going to take the first brush that I use and blend those two together with no extra product on. Going back with the Antiques Bronze again and building up the intensity. This is a lovely warm brown, darkish brown, but with a slight shimmer to it. It's really beautiful. Don't worry about the edges of your eyeshadow right now because we're going to correct them when we put the um, foundation on. So you can be as messy as you want at this point within limits, obviously. I find with hooded eyes, I don't like to use a sharp, sharp edge like with the tape or with the stickers. I like to keep it quite rounded, more of an oval shape and upwards. Not too rounded because you can look a little bit raccoonish, so just be careful with that. Then I'm going to apply Primavera from the same palette to highlight under the brow bone and the inner corners of the eyes. I'm using all the same eyeshadows from the same, I mean I'm using the same eyeshadow palette for pretty much all of this. And then Cypress Umber on the lid to just give it a little bit more intensity. I'm going to pack that on the lid with my MAC 242. And I'm going to blend together with my MAC 286 blending brush. Just so it's all seamless. And it just goes naturally from dark to lighter. On the centre of the lid I'm going to pack on the Stiller Magnificent Metals, I think it's called, in Kitten Karma. There's quite a lot of fallout on this so be quite careful. That's why I like to do my eyeshadow first. So after applying Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Tawny, I'm going to apply some LA Girl Cosmetics Concealer in the orange shade to colour correct under her eyes, just a tiny bit. After blending that in, I'm going to highlight and conceal again with um, my MAC Select Moisture Concealer. I'm just going to apply this under the eyes on the forehead, ch nose, chin and cupid's bow. This is just to give the face a little bit of dimension because when you apply foundation sometimes it can give you a bit of a flat look. So that's why people do this in case you were ever wondering. In hindsight, I wish I would have used hindsight. I wish I would have used a stronger concealer under the eyes on Sada because she's got quite uh, dark circles. But I do correct this towards the end of the video because these this concealer just starts to disappear on her. So after I've applied that, I'm just going to blend it all in using my damp beauty blender. This just picks up any excess product, probably too much from under the eye actually, since we do have to reapply some concealer towards the end of the video. My lady today wanted quite a dewy look, so after we've set under the eyes, I like to set them pretty much straight away to avoid creasing. And I'm going to use them in RCMA No Colour Powder for this. To highlight, I'm going to use my liquid highlighter that I just I love so much. It's the Cover FX in Moonlight. And then to contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette in Medium. I'm going to use the medium dark shade in that palette. Just go around the perimeter of the face and under the cheekbones. 
and blend that in. If you have a smaller forehead, remember not to contour your forehead too much because it will make it appear smaller. So that's why we didn't do it too much today. Then I'm going to set the rest of the face, avoiding the liquid highlighted area with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in medium golden and then slightly bronze using the dark tan shade with the same mineralized skin finish. Try and avoid that liquid highlighted area because I am going to set that with a powdered highlight. For that I'm going to use the Balm Mary Luminizer by the Balm. I'm just contouring with my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder contour kit now. And for blush, I'm using Warm Soul by MAC, my favourite blush. I think it just suits everybody. And there we go. Then we're going to put on the highlight, which is just incredible. I hardly ever use that highlight. And when I used it today, or the other day, <laughs> it was just, oh, I can't believe I never use it. Under the eyes, I'm just going to apply the same shadows as we did on top, which were Antiqued Bronze, Golden Ochre and Cypress Umber taking the darker shades closer to the lash line. I'm going to list the brushes I used down in the description box. I'm just going to buff out those edges now with my large crease brush with no extra product on. And to line the waterline I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Aqua XL, just a turquoise shade. And just go under the lower lash line again to blend out any harsh edges. As you can see, the under eyes area really needs some extra concealer, so I did correct this in a minute. For the lips, I use Morning Coffee Lip Liner, Velvet Teddy Lipstick, or both by MAC, and the Jouer Liquid Lipstick in Pample Mousse to highlight the centre of the lip. And here I am correcting the dark circles. Already much better. And this is the end of the video, so I hope you enjoy the final look. Thank you so much for watching and once again I apologise for my tragic voiceover, I'm absolutely crap at it, but let's see, practice makes perfect I guess. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you liked my video.